Hey guys, gals, and Legionnaires, Rykon here, and welcome back to Let's Play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, Elliot's Tale. We're on episode 22, and this is Shade Hill. Well, outer Shade Hill, actually. Like, uh, I think this is Shade Hill proper, kind of over in this direction. Um, and I... are we forgetting part of the map? No, we haven't explored all that side there. For a second, I thought, like, we were losing part of the map. But we're not. We're not losing part of the map. That's good. That's good. If we were, that would suck. That means that his memory would slowly be slipping away. Which I think he does have some memory issues, Elias, um, from his time spent in the, the, bleh, in the laboratories and the hospital uh, before he eventually found himself in the prison for what he has become, the creature he has become, and what he is becoming. Um, I've just seen, I've just, I'm holding on to some splintered woods, which... Yeah, they're good for cooking, but yeah, I don't know. We don't actually need to be holding on to them right now, so let's go ahead and drop them. Because um, it's useless. We don't need it. Um, and I don't think we're actually going to hang around here and practice our sewing any longer. We're on 46%, which is pretty good. <sighs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It could be better. It could be a lot better. Um, yeah, but we are getting dangerously low. I'll leave the backpack, our utility vest, they're low, which is not cool. Um, and we can't work on too much else, unfortunately. If I jump in and have a look, there really isn't have a lot we can practice on. We can actually, no, I should have thought about this sooner. We can, oh, we can't just practice on it. Damn, I was going to say we can just practice on a blindfold, but we can't, we can't. So, a little sucky. Oh well, what can we do? What can we do? Um, right, so everything else is pretty, it's damaged to the point where I just don't want to risk locking it up. The leather quiver we might be able to do something with though, so let's just see. Uh, we damaged it. Okay. We damaged it. How much closer are we? 48% this shit. <laughs> we damaged it like right away. So, yeah, not ideal. Um, okay, alright. I'm going to head back up to the vehicle really quick, see if we can, you know what, I'm going to see if, how much of this stuff we can actually grab, which, it's not going to be a hell of a lot, no, see, look, yeah, that's, that's all that we can carry with us, because uh, what I'm needing to do is try and grab some, uh, it'll come to me in a second, I need to try and grab a lighter, because uh, we want to get cooking, so, I want to be able to start some fires. Okay, so we're kind of keeping medical here on the seat. So let's go ahead, jump into here. That's not what I want. That is what I want. So we'll jump, have a look at that. I'm not using any filters. How come I'm not seeing any? How come I'm not seeing the the truck? Okay, let's just let's actually just do what I'm sitting on. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. Okay, so we're going to come into our inventory here under drugs. Um, let's go filter and sort. No, we want to go sort straight away. And we want to sort by category. Okay, that's good. So let's scroll on down to drugs and just drop everything that we don't need to have with us right now. Destination area is full. Shit. It's because we're holding other generic shit there that we don't exactly need. Yeah. Uh, you know what? We actually have this little this little cart cargo space in the middle here. I don't know why I wasn't using that before. Uh, 217, yeah, so let's go ahead and chuck our drugs, and, our drugs in that. We don't need to have that much aspirin, so I'm just going to try and see if I can figure out... I need to remember how to do it again, how to M. You hit M and you want to, you choose how much you want to move. So let's go ahead and move 170 aspirin over. Perfect, M. M for move. So good, so good. Caffeine pills, we don't need to have on us right now. The codeine, we don't need that either. We don't need a lot of these things. I'm going to probably keep the gummy vitamins just for the hell of it. And we're gonna, we are going to keep some cocaine with us for emergencies. It's emergency cocaine. Okay, break only in the case of emergency. That's that's what it's there for. The cough syrup. Maybe we will keep some on us. So in that case, let's just keep one on us because we don't need that much. Um, oh, right. It's one and there's 10 units of cough syrup in it. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, the disinfectant we will keep as well, just because our friend seems to like to get injured, and the saline we will keep too. Um, but they all almost make up one, you know, one volume of weight, so it, it's it's worth remembering that. Um, right, the book, I'm probably just going to drop the book there for now. Um, okay, and I'll leave that at that. Uh, yeah, 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 I'm just trying to see if there's anything else heavy that we don't really need. 
like the atomic nightlight is a little on the heavy side so i'm probably going to go ahead and what's the time now 5 28 we're probably not going to need to do some emergency um it'll come to me in a second uh crafting we won't have to do emergency crafting uh, you know at in the middle of the night uh okay right while we're here we do want to try and find a lighter so i'm just going to search light uh great okay so we have found one which I am on board with. So we will take it. It's only got four charges, which is pretty shit. Um, so now let's have a look at the food that we have available to us. There's, we we do have a lot of food that isn't perishable, but like the stuff like this, the bolognas, which is like bologna, bolognese, bologna. It's bologna, bologna. Oh my god, what it, what did I just do? It's bologna. What did I do? Forgive me, bologna. Oh god, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just uh, I walked right into that one. We'll take the um, bologna. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm still struggling. We'll just eat the bologna by itself. I'm going to have a quick look at it though and just see what it does for us. Uh, it doesn't make us quenched. Okay, cool. And it's got eight nutrition on each portion. So let's go ahead and start eating. Now our friend is probably going to start getting hungry soon as well, but he's thirsty at the moment. So we do need to try and think about um, boiling up some of that water at some point. We don't need to stress about it right now. Um, in fact, do we have any drinks that we could just bring with us? Uh, we don't. No, we don't, because we lost all those sports drinks somehow. I feel like he took them and then lost them. Damn you, Jared. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. Okay, so we're going to head across the road. Um, we're not seeing any undead right now, which is cool. I'm happy with that. Let's actually check out the bus. I didn't. I never checked it out. It's got 11% diesel in there. Excuse me while I take a sip of coffee. Damn, I think I hit the moustache a little bit there. That is the one problem with having a moustache is that you are going to get stuff in it occasionally. This is one of those systems. Okay, so it's, um, it's steerable apparently. Uh, it does have, it lack, it's lacking in the wheels. But um, apparently it's steerable. And... Uh, we're hearing wumps from beneath the ground. And, oh, for a second then, I thought we were seeing another NPC, but we're not. It's just Jared hanging out behind us. Okay. Maybe the wumps are from the side here. Oh, the door is locked. Okay. Interesting. Let's go ahead, use our crowbar, pry our way in, and let's go ahead and zoom right in because we can in here. Pair of dress shoes, alpha male quarterly. Uh, we sputtered. A, we sputtered? Wow, we sputtered something. Um, telescoping umbrella. Hell yes, we're going to take that thing. Because this is going to protect us from the sun. Um, it's so important that we have that. Uh, actually, I wonder if a sombrero would. It keeps the sun out of your eyes. And the thin strip. A sombrero would be pretty freaking cool to have. <laughs> I'm really tempted to take the sombrero. <laughs> but we have the right helmet on already. Uh, you know what? Our head isn't... Uh, how encumbered is our head? 20. I wonder if we could get away wearing a sombrero on top of the helmet. It might not let us. Oh, can we wear it? No, damn it, we can't. We can't wear another helmet. We can't do it. I'm sorry. I, wanted to, I just wanted to wear a riot mask, a riot helmet, and a sombrero at the same time. We can't do it, apparently. We'll instead take the matchbook, and we will take the lighter beautiful and i want to see if i can come over here and close these before that tough zombie sees too much of us there's a wolf out there so hopefully that wolf keeps him busy uh we will come back from the soap and the other bits and pieces close up that make the house nice and dark the way we like it oh you know what it is this house has got a basement and there are things smacking on down inside of it okay okay so the, the basement's good and bad i mean it, i guess it just depends and hello what the hell okay that's all down beneath us they're already smashing shit up now so rude okay it's actually a towel are we wet at the moment we are wet so let's go ahead and just um can we activate it on the ground no we can't oh no maybe we can oh, no it's not showing us stuff that's on the ground so we'll grab the towel and we will go activate the towel use its powers we have used the powers of the towel and we are not wet any longer, but we still have filthy gear. I really, really want to be able to uh, do something with it. 
Uh, do we have a pair of scissors? I don't know if we have a pair of scissors on us. I feel like we have a pair of scissors already. Like, I'm sure we do. But we're going to take some just in case because they are so lightweight. What do we have in here? Graham crackers. Uh, they're going to make us so thirsty. And while I'm thinking about it, we're also looking at the vitamins here. Let's go ahead and eat a gummy vitamin. It'll cheer us up a little bit. And it will keep us healthy. Okay, we had a little bit of an oil save there, which is cool. And it looks like we do have some kind of medical supplies the rubber gloves i'm tempted to take um how much is the environmental protection eight so versus our let's just have a look yeah let's compare those to our current where are you fingerless tactical gloves tactical gloves have zero environmental protection in saying this we don't encounter acid with our hands that much unless we're trying to like hit something it does actually have decent protection though actually the 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 i mean what's the oh the encumberment is huge like in comparison the technical gloves are only gonna six yeah i guess it's situational with the uh rubber gloves hmm Yeah, I feel like we're going to stick with the tactical gloves. It's just a better decision for us. We need to be very dexterous with our hands, so we will keep that in mind. Um, okay, can we pour it into a container? We do not have a suitable container. Okay, so let's just take the multivitamin. Uh, let's not look out the window. We'll try and pretend there's nothing there. And we'll go up into what I think is probably a bedroom. And would you look at that? There is a freaking backpack. Oh, yeah. But there is also there's also two backpacks but there's also the basement um so we see some tobaccos apparently tobaccos just hanging out rolling tobaccos we'll, we'll take it and fried seeds oh they're there's seeds that have been fried I, I don't know why i don't know what's going on with my brain today wool poncho i'm i love ponchos and i wonder whether or not we will take one with us because then we legit will be like freaking daryl um i'm tempted to take it <laughs> um i might i wonder if i can you know what? i'm gonna give it i'm gonna give it over and i'm almost tempted to try and get these flame resistant socks and swap them out encumberment is six from those socks and what would it be from these only two only two wool socks you know what? i think the wool socks are going to be better they're going to keep us warmer surely where is the warmth 30 yeah so let's let's go ahead and take off our flame resistant socks drop those down there and let's go ahead and wear the those socks there great now and it's a leather backpack as well which is awesome so let's go ahead grab it let's wear it and we're going to go ahead and drop on the floor our old one which is there goodbye farewell you were loved now you're gone it's great how quickly we can just swap those out there right we don't have to actually transfer things between bags that's a bonus okay coffee time Meanwhile, eight unopened aluminium cans. Eight? I've got eight of them now. Okay, o eight opened. Right, okay. I guess we're collecting them. Um, and we had some more orange soda, which is awesome. And we want to give that backpack to our friend over here. So let's go ahead and just dispose of that for now. We will, we will just drop it on the ground. And let's go ahead, come here, and go uh, use item on... Can I? No, no. <laughs> It'll be give item, surely. Uh, so in that case, I think we just need to chat to him. Chat to Jared. Say, hey man. And I want to go, I want you to use this item. Hold on to this item. I want you to use this item. And then say backpack. Thanks. Now, if he's wielding it, he's not wielding it. He's wearing it like a normal person. That's awesome. Okay, great. Good news. Good news. Okay. Uh, I wonder if I can give him the poncho as well. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's give him the poncho. So, chat again, Jared, and go, I want you to use this item, and go ahead down to clothing, wool poncho, bam, he can just hold on to that for now. Let's go. And he looks cool. And he just grabbed the broken leather backpack as well, because why the hell not? Let's go ahead and wield the crossbow. There is definitely some fun times happening downstairs. We have some more space, which is cool and all. Um, just want to double check everything up here. No, I think we're okay. Oh my god, there's so much noise going on down there. Let's go and see what we're dealing with. Um, right. 
Okay, he really wants to grab those flame resistant socks. So we got we got a decent amount of noise happening down here. So let's just take a quick peek. That was our peek. Take another peek. Now we have the advantage of sight down here, which is cool. Um, okay, what is that? What is that? What are you? It's, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my god, look at all the ammunition! Holy shit! Oh snap! And and this is a survivor zombie still wearing the tattered remains of improvised armor and weaponry it is plain to see that the zombie was once a survivor like you yes a survivor zombie and the survivor zombies can be brilliant they can also be dangerous because obviously they're wearing protective armor like we were but they did not make it they did not make it like elliot did and uh they are actually coming for us so let's try and get a really nice shot on him we're just gonna let them get nice and close. Heard a wump. We don't care about no wumps. We are the wumpers. Um, now I'm a little concerned because I feel like we're, it's shooting through that square. Oh shit, balls. Okay, we're gonna grab it there as well. 42%, oh 42, 42 damage, great. That's cool, but the survivor zombie now has grabbed us. I'm gonna try and hit our run command and we're gonna try and move backwards. We managed to jump and break its grab, which is cool. Let's see if we can move back again. Okay. Jared is trying to do his thing now. Stop reloading. Okay, that's good. We should get a chance to hit him again. We are so close. I'm just going to take the shot. Okay, 23. That's decent. That's good. Jared is going to be getting hurt right now. I don't want him to die. Um, so we're just going to try and reload again really quickly. As fast as you can with a crossbow. Okay, that thing is going to be almost dead. Okay, the problem with what I'm trying to do now is the fact that... Uh, okay, we only have one more left. Come on, make it count. That's what I'm talking about. The survivor zombie is dead. So the survivor zombie has quite a lot of armor on it. So that's why it was uh, able to protect itself there. Now, how is this? It's only lightly injured. Um, we are downstairs, so you know what? Let's go ham. Let's do it. Okay, okay, and we can see 78. It's quite loud. Quite loud, and we should be able to do one more. Do you know what? Let's step in. That's how we do it. Now, I don't know if the sound is going to travel the same way on the surface as it does down below. I feel like it might do. So, we do need to be very careful in that regard. Now, now, we do have essence, so we're going to grab some more of the essence. Um, I'm kind of imagining in the dark, you know, Elliot leaning down with his little flask and somehow absorbing this strangely glowing moat of wispy vapor from the mouth of the survivor zombie into his flask. And Jared's been like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> um, so things are still very, very weird for him. Um, but we are also going to grab this thing here. It's a survival knife. So this massive knife features a hollow handle with a compass built into the pommel and a row of fearsome looking saw-like teeth along the back of its blade. The thing is like, this This is made by, you know, a survivor. Uh, the stab damage is nine, which is pretty good. Um, but yeah, the butchering quality is high as well, and obviously it's got a compass built into it, so I guess that'll come into it as well. Um, I don't think I actually grabbed it though, so we will grab that. Um, and I don't think we actually want to grab anything else from that one. Uh, do we have cargo shorts at the moment? Yes, we do. Okay, that's good that we're running with that combo. So let's go ahead and wield the crossbow. We've still got enough ammunition. Actually, you know what? Just to be safe, just to be safe, we are going to reload the... Uh, the mp5 while we're here okay so we reload the magazine that's good now let's go ahead wield the crossbow and we will uh can we not okay i guess we have to drop it for now that's not cool um so i want to try and grab the steak knife that's in our boots i'm a little concerned that he might just try and take the gun um which i'm a little worried about uh so we want to we want to go ahead and activate our boots we want to draw the steak knife, store it in our inventory, and let's go ahead and just compare the two knives. So, 
compare that and compare the survival knife. So the survival knife is actually damaged at the moment, but we can see that it uh, it doesn't actually have as good of a butchering quality, but it's got metal sawing and wood sawing capabilities as well. So it's an all round usable tool. So I think probably what we're gonna do is drop the steak knife and we're gonna keep the survivor knife in our boots. So let's go ahead, drop the steak knife. Let's go and activate our boot. Uh, activate. Oh, is the survival knife too big to fit in the boot? Ah, damn it. That's a point against it. Hmm. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, the volume is only four, so it's not massive. I'm fine with kind of carrying that around just because of all the different capabilities it can do. It is quite damaged though, so that's something I am going to have to be wary of and try and keep my eye on. Let's go ahead, wield the crossbow, because I think that's what the problem might have been before. And yeah, pull that back into our inventory. Nice. He is going to start butchering, which is cool. Uh, butchering, actually smashing rather, is what I was trying to get at. And we have a basement here, guys and gals. And I don't know how much stuff we've got here. We've actually got a safe as well, um, which we would need a lockpick. It's a gun safe. Oh shit, we've got to try and get that. Brass catcher. Okay, so that, that would catch um, ejected casings. Kind of cool. We'll take it for now. Um, but obviously, we are we are we are suffering in a, a little bit weight wise at the moment. Um, so I need to just go through and get rid of shit that we don't need. Uh, which is those aluminium cans stack up. Holy crap! They're actually really quite heavy. Much more than I would have thought. Um, okay, we'll drop those for now. That's cool. And I actually think we're alone in here. And oh my gosh, look at those weapons. Look at the weapons. Oh gosh, this is a this is this is a good haul. This is a great basement. This little town so far has been absolutely fantastic. I'm very very happy with it. So we've got birdshot. Great, perfect. That's awesome. Very useful for our shotgun. Seven six two and hand loaded. Um, 22 rounds as well which is great we'll grab it and we will grab the 7.62 um, what is it um, commonly used in? Mosin Nagant rifle okay okay so if we get a Mosin we're kind of sorted in that regard we've got some more bird shot as well again so like this is a yeah so it's weak shotgun ammunition it's designed for hunting small birds so it could actually be good for hunting birds. I don't like the idea of using shotguns to go hunting, just because it's going to draw things that might be nearby. Uh, but we do have some 40 caliber rounds. Nice. Okay. We'll take it. Smith & Weston. Very cool. And we've got some 306, which is cool. So this is reloaded ammunition as well. So whoever owned this basement, which I'm guessing was probably that survivor zombie. Yeah. Um, rat shot is extremely weak. Okay, so designed for killing rats, snakes, and other small vermin. Okay, we'll take it because there's 100 rounds of it. We won't say no. Um, and this is actually the rounds that we're using for our MP5. So very, very cool. And there's a decent amount of it here as well. Um, there actually looks to be quite a decent amount of stuff here. What do we got? We've got an American 180. We've got a Remington, which we actually already have. And there's an SKS as well. Oh, shit, son. That's good. It's good. It's good. Um, but we do we do actually want to get some lockpicks going to see if we can get this thing open. I feel like we might also need a stethoscope to be able to do it. Oh, I just realized we're running. We're running. What am I doing? Okay, so we do have some pipes over here. And we actually also have some, some more ammunition as well, which is awesome. I guess there's more rounds that we can use than the MP5. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, right. So it's too dark down here right now. So we'll just go ahead, activate the flashlight really quick. And we can actually see into here. What is that? Pistol bayonet. Great. Cool. Okay. I'm on board with that. I like it. Oh, I like the, the poncho is actually kind of blue on you. Interesting. Is it? It's a woolen poncho though, right? It's not like a plastic poncho. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Um, right. Let's open up this and let's go and make... We could actually make a self bow down here. Which I'd kind of be tempted to. Uh, I mean, the crossbow is awesome, but, you know, the bow just means that we can just keep on firing. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, so let's go here. We're going to make some improvised lockpicks. Let's go batch, and we're going to make... We're going to make eight of them. Great, that's cool. We'll turn off the flashlight. Let's come over here and see if we can do anything with this. Pick the gun safe. Try to. Yes. 
Okay, it stumps our efforts. So, we... We successfully unlocked the gun case. Hey, but it's empty! Oh, that is a massive tease! God damn! That sucks. That's really annoying. Okay, alright, so... We should probably be ending the episode here, but what I'm going to do instead is we're actually going to head back to the vehicle. We're going to drop off everything that we've gotten so far so that we can come back here and grab all of those weapons because uh, we are really going to want to use them. Okay, uh, we are seeing a, de a decayed zombie to the southeast. We never did see that Rottweiler, so it is still out here somewhere. Um, definitely something for us to be concerned about. Um, so we're just going to jump into the back really quick and we're just going to do a little bit of inventory management. Let's see, what do we have up here? Where is our weaponry? Is there? Perfect. Okay, so that's weapons and ammunition, which is great. We're going to come into the inventory and let's go in like that. Okay, guns, ammunition. Okay, so we're probably not going to want to carry too much of that with us as well. Um, but we'll chuck in everything else keep the bolts for now um i'm almost tempted to drop the gun back for now i know we just used the gun but i'm tempted to just drop the gun back in here for now because there isn't too much going on in the town so that means we can just get rid of the ammunition as well um throwing knives we will keep because i do actually want to start using them more um okay that's all that we can actually really kind of chuck into there but um food wise we can we can get rid of some more things so i, I guess i'm just putting everything here drinks as well uh, which is a little It's not it's not ideal. It's not perfect, but we're on the road So I think while we're on the road, I'm okay with doing that. So we're just gonna chuck those in there as well Just for now um, Okay, right. I am um, the mods. They actually can go up there with the uh, weapon as well I'm more than happy to do that. Let's drop us down a decent amount But we probably are still carrying a bit more crap than we need to so I'm gonna go up to the tool one that we have here Okay, that's clothing. Um, I'm just trying to figure out where I could put that glow stick because we don't actually need to have that on us at all. Uh, same thing with the lighter. We'll use that one up first. Um, same thing with matchbooks and probably the scissors as well. Uh, which actually looks like we already did have a pair of scissors. Fantastic, great. I will do my best to remember that this time. Please remember, please remember. <laughs> okay, the blindfold takes up barely any space at all. Yeah, the throwing knives take up a little bit. Um, the soap is actually taking up a decent amount, weirdly enough. Uh, I'm probably just going to put that in here for now, in tools. I know that's a weird place to put it. I hope I don't forget I put it there. But um, guys and gals, that's where we're going to wrap up the episode for today. We managed to find the gun basement. I'm excited to see what we're going to be able to do with it. Uh, we do still have more of the town to see, and I do have to go back and grab those drugs, which uh, we might actually just do at the start of the next episode. Alrighty, I have been Rykon, this has been Elliot and Jared. We just found a hell of a lot of guns, and who knows, I might actually trust him enough to give him one. We'll see. I don't want him to accidentally shoot me in the back of the head. Oh dear. Alrighty, I have been Rykon, you have all been awesome, and until next time, stay tuned.